I cannot believe how lucky I am. Are you kidding me? It wasn't that long ago that I was lying on the floor going to kill myself. And everybody calling me and saying, don't give up, you can make it. And now I just rode my bike 750 miles from San Francisco to San Diego down the coast of California. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. This is fantastic. And now I'm on that long, hard climb. And in the world of cycling, as in the world of life, you live for that long, hard climb. That's the fun part. That's where it all comes together. The part that so many of us are in right now, so many of you, when you're wallowing around in the muck at the bottom and you have no idea where to go. You have no plan, you have no hope, you have no dream for the future. But now, I'm actually celebrating. I'm riding my bike, and I'm on the climb, and I'm going. I'm all by myself, and it's sunny, and it's beautiful, and sweat just pouring off. i got the biggest grin on my face, and I'm thinking all these people just telling me, don't give up, Bill, you can make it. And I come around the halfway mark, and I figure everybody's already gone and passed. But I look up ahead of me, and just up the way is one of my teammates. Her name is Kelly. And Kelly is the finest looking woman in the world. She's just like gorgeous, perfect, like Michelangelo, like Da Vinci, like Juanita over here is Dr. Moss's wife, and just absolutely perfect. You just want to reach out there and touch him, you know. It's like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. And Kelly, unlike us, Kelly's in a wheelchair, and she's paralyzed from the ribs down. And she had just ridden her hand cycle all by herself from San Francisco. To San Diego and she's on that last long hard climb now in the world of challenges what we do is we do what we can we figure it out and we get the job done and that epitomizes what this group down here these doctors these healthcare providers and practitioners are giving us they're figuring out and they're getting it done changing all the time going from the rotary phone to the smartphone, going from the Dewey Decimal System to an iPad, going from the shark bite to minimally invasive surgery, giving us the chance to play in the game. And so I'm coming up behind Kelly, and Kelly's really struggling. And she's not going to make it. I'm singing the songs of our organization, Jerry Garcia, The Mission in the Rain. Some folks would be so happy to have just one dream come true. Or maybe Bob Dylan, The Chimes of Freedom. Far between, sundown's finish and midnight's broken toll. We ducked inside the doorway, thunder crashing, tolling for the warrior, tolling for the luckless, the abandoned and forsake, tolling for the outcast, burning constantly at stake, striking for the gentle, striking for the kind, striking for the guardians and protectors of the mind. And for every uptight, hung up person in this whole wide universe, we gaze upon those chimes of freedom flashing. And so I'm singing these songs to Kelly as I'm coming up behind her, and I'm telling her, don't give up, Kelly, don't give up. I see that she's crying, and she's not going to make it. Now I'm right next to her. And we're barely moving. And if she doesn't get one more crank over, she's going to start coasting backwards down this hill again, and then she's really going to be up against it. I look down. She's already in her climbing gear. She's got nothing left mechanically. But she finds something deep inside, and we get the rhythm going. And she turns it over once. And once you learn that you can do it once, okay, I can do this again. And I can do this again. And what is that fourth law of learning from John Wooden after demonstration, imitation, correction? Repetition. The daily work that you and I have to do for the rest of our lives to get that balance and that symmetry. When Kelly and I crested the top of the mountain, we just soared like eagles right down into La Jolla Cove there. And there was a thousand little children all of them with prosthetics, all of them in wheelchairs, just so happy that we were able to do something to help them.